Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are working on the second month square for the blanket. But first, I want to apologize. I am a week late. I had some things come up last weekend, and so I couldn't get to the video. Uh, so I'm making it this week, so I apologize. I'm putting you guys a week behind. But this stitch is pretty easy, so I think you guys might be able to catch up in three weeks instead of having four. Um, so this stitch is called cross stitching, the crossed stitches. Um, so I've already gotten five of my six squares done. This took me a while to figure it out because the pattern compared to what was happening didn't work. I had to drop one stitch. So when I explain the pattern, I'll explain which one I dropped. If you can figure out how to keep that stitch in there and still make it work, more power to you. But if you do what I did and drop it, that's okay. So this is how it's going to look. It's really pretty. I like the look of it. It gives it definitely something different. Um, and it's really like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Once it's stitched together, because it's uh, you're gonna do it in the uh, double crochet, but you're double crocheting on top of each other. So you're gonna make one, but then you're gonna go back and cross over that first one. So once they get crossed, it's got like a, like a padding to it feel. So it's really like, it's actually really comfortable to the hands. I don't know, once you make it, you'll understand what I'm saying. You'll be like, oh, okay. So the amount of rows that you're gonna need, you're gonna want your tails to finish together on the same side. Um, so here are my, my five. So we are going to work in the gray again today, only because I just feel like this, when I'm showing you how to do the stitches, shows up on the camera better for vision. So, We'll do the gray again. And so I've got the pattern. This one is coming out of that book I showed you. At the end of the video, I can actually do a screenshot of these two pages so that way you guys can pause the video, read what it says. And like I said, if you can fit that uh, extra stitch in that I told you I dropped, go for it. If you can't make it work, then don't worry about it because I couldn't make it work and it still turned out really good. So with that being said, I hope you got your crochet hook ready, your pad of paper and a pen because you definitely need to keep track of your stitches or at least your rows. You need to keep track of your rows. So let's go ahead and change up the angle and that way you guys can see what I'm doing and show you how to make this square. Okay you guys, so to start this square we are going to, like always, whoop, we're going to make a slip knot. And to start we are going to chain 26 So there's 26 plus two more, one, two. And now we are going to go to the fifth stitch, go back, one, two, three, four, five. So fifth stitch, you're gonna yarn over, go into the, that stitch, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's a double crochet. We did that on our last square, but just a reminder. 
So now we're gonna do another double crochet, but we're gonna go back to one stitch previous. So what would have been number four right there. So we're gonna yarn over. You're gonna go into that stitch, but on this side of your work, your hook is gonna come out. You're gonna yarn over. Sorry, I had that backwards. You're gonna pull it through that stitch to where now you've got three on your hook and everything's down here. Yarn over, you're gonna go through the two and then yarn over and go through the two. And that's how you make your X. Now, here's where I was telling you guys, after you do that, it tells you to, to chain one and then skip one. But as I was doing that, because then you keep doing it in your rows, my work started to bow like a rainbow because I kept adding. And then I did count and my counts were totally off. I was constantly adding extra stitches. So my work didn't come out straight. So after I dropped that stitch, it started to stay straight and my stitch count wasn't off. So if you wanna skip that one chain, cause you're supposed to chain right there and then skip this one and then do your next double crochet here and then do that. But then you go back and you cross here. So there's not an extra stitch to match this extra chain. So like I said, it just started to do this bowing. So I dropped it. So that's the stitch I was referring to. So don't chain one, just yarn over, skip one stitch, go your next stitch and do your double crochet in that one. like so. And then again, yarn over, you're going to go back to that last stitch that you just skipped, which is right there. And if you guys do the back side of your starting chain, like I do, just be patient with yourself. This is the only row that's going to be hard to find your back stitch. Just like so. Only because you're doing that bump right here instead of one of these side pieces, which a lot of people do this one. You guys can do it however you want. I just like the, the braided look being on the outside. That's just my personal preference. Don't follow me if you don't want to on that. Just want to make that clear. So again, right there, yarn over. Do your double crochet. Yarn over, go back one stitch. Cross over and finish. There's your next X. So we're going to keep doing this all the way down until you get to the end and I'll show you that. So we're at the end and you'll notice that there's three left, which is good. That's what you want. So go ahead and do your last X going through double crochet yarn over, go in, like so. Okay, so there's your last X. You've got one left. With that one left, you're always going to have one left, and you're just going to do one double crochet by itself, like so. Okay, and that's how you get your first row. Now, make sure you mark that you've done your first row. So now to turn and do the next row, you're going to chain three, turn your work. This is not a counting stitch. You're, so you're gonna go, you're gonna skip that one, one, two. 
and start all over doing yarn over so now this is where how I said after the first row it gets easier because it's easier to find your stitch just like so and then again like I said the book claims I'm supposed to chain one but like I said I'm not doing that so next one this is literally going to just stay on top of your X's perfectly on top so right here double crochet it right there another double crochet and you're just gonna keep doing that all the way down for row two while also having the fun of pulling more yarn out just like so and you just want to keep doing that and you'll know your stitches are correct as long as your X's keep matching up which so far mine are which that's a yay that I got one more X and then you have one stitch left to make that one double crochet that's solo right here on the end like that and that's how you know your work is coming out correctly so that's row two and then again chain three two, three turn your work and you're going to do the same thing over and over for 13 rows just remembering to always make sure that you've got your x's lined up perfectly your solo double crochets line up perfectly and always chaining three to turn go ahead and finish your square and then once we get to the top I will show you how to bind off and complete it okay you guys I'm ready to show you how to finish off your square so I just need to finish my last X like so double crochet by itself so to finish it off you're just going to chain one cut your tail pull through and pull it tight just like that that is how to make your square all done so go ahead and make your however many squares that you're making for your project and uh, yeah so there it is okay so that's the final piece here's the rest of my squares 
So while you guys are making your squares for the amount that you need for your project, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one because I have to figure out my math on how to how much to chain and the size and rows that will be needed for that stitch in order to fit with the first two squares that we have done so far. I put them away somewhere in one of my many baskets back here somewhere but I got them and I got these ones so while you guys do this one I will work on next month and I promise to get that one out on the correct weekend again I apologize for being a week late uh, I also had to unfortunately miss my knitting guild meeting um, just things got really hectic here so to my guild members that are following me and doing this thank you guys for being there to do this with me um, and I'm sorry for missing last week's meeting so uh, you guys go ahead and work on this have fun tell your friends they can easily catch up with us no problem if they want to um, but other than that for right now if you guys like the way this square looks give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to click on that pretty red button right there it says subscribe and also if you click the notification bell then YouTube will notify you every time I upload the next video for the blanket or at least the blanket I'm, I'm making a blanket I don't know what you guys are gonna do with this project but totally up to you anyways so Thank you very much, and I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I hope you learned something new from this stitch, and uh, I will see you guys in a month. Bye!